YouTuber Tati Westbrook was thrown into the spotlight after posting her Bye Sister video, which slammed teen beauty icon James Charles in May 2019. With everyone quickly taking sides, we wanted to know the scoop on this beauty mogul. Before the James Charles drama took the internet by storm, Westbrook was already planning to take a break from YouTube. Just sometimes feels like, and this blush is fantastic. Oh, and my uterus and ovaries, you know, like, like when does that fit in? In a January 2019 video, Tati revealed that she and her husband, James Westbrook, were struggling to get pregnant. Westbrook has also suffered from endometriosis as well as severe inflammation. This is why the social media star always stays on top of her health and gets blood work done about four times a year. It has been, um, it has been like a deep pain in my soul that I have not been able to have children. She added, As a woman, you feel like your body should be able to do this on its own, and it's always frustrated me that my body betrays me a lot. Westbrook went on to admit that the stress surrounding her fertility issues had also led to depression. While she decided to step back from YouTube to help ease her anxiety, she still planned to share part of her journey on Snapchat. Westbrook might be resting on a reported net worth of $6 million, but the star has had to work for everything she has. The YouTuber didn't come from money and couldn't afford tuition for college or beauty school. At various points in her life, Westbrook didn't even have a car to drive to work. While opening up about all of this in a 2016 video, the YouTube star revealed that she'd moved out on her own at the age of 18, but had only saved up a little bit of money and had no income. At the time, she was driving a beat-up Jeep with no radio and used a boombox to listen to music. She said, I've had every random job out there. I have had to do things that I am not really happy about to make ends meet. She admitted that while that might sound sketchy, it wasn't. I've had to do what I had to do to pay rent and to support myself. She added, I come from a family that is very loving, but we don't come from tons of money. And it's not like I could call home and be like, hey, can you pay my rent? Westbrook, who grew up in Seattle, admitted that she knew she was going to be famous when she was just three years old. At the time, her focus was on acting, musical theatre and dance. However, it wasn't until she was discovered by a casting director at the age of 13 and moved out to Los Angeles with her mum that she realised acting might not be her thing. She said, My mom kind of packed us all in a van and my parents were going through a divorce and we just kind of got out of there. Tati then admitted, So fast forward, um, you know, I, I did a lot of acting and commercials and this and that, and then I kind of got burnt out on the whole thing. I don't know, I was homesick. She eventually left LA to live with her dad in Seattle. Westbrook might not have grown up to become an actress as originally planned, but with roughly 10 million YouTube subscribers as of mid-2019, there's no doubt she's a star. While the rest of us have been swiping endlessly in a sea of men who won't commit, Westbrook managed to find her husband James online. But the pair's first date was almost a complete disaster. Our first kiss was in front of your apartment, and uh, it was horrible. It was, it was horrible. absolutely... It was so awkward. It, it... Before their first kiss, Tati went to the sushi restaurant chain they had agreed on, but accidentally showed up at the wrong location and was livid that James was late. When she realized she was in the wrong place, she tried to cancel, but fate didn't let things end there. Tati admitted to her husband in a 2012 video, If this didn't work out, I was taking a year hiatus from men because I had gone on so many bad Match.com dates. I was sick of it. She said both she and James were tired of the dating scene and both were thinking of quitting relationships altogether. But she added, And then he said, wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool if this was it? And I'm sitting across the table like, I'm psycho. <laughs> Looks like this bad date turned into happily ever after. Let's not beat around the bush. Tati Westbrook has made a heck of a lot of money on YouTube. So much so that she even managed to become the sole investor in her company, Halo Beauty. She said via E! News, I was able to do it on my own. It's shocking how much money YouTubers can make. It's not exactly clear just how much Westbrook has made on the platform, but it's definitely in the millions. The star averages 25 to 30 million views per month. According to Vlogger Gear, YouTube 
YouTube pays out around $600 to $7,000 per million views, depending on the content quality. As one of the most popular beauty vloggers, Westbrook's payout is probably on the higher end of the spectrum, meaning she could be raking in around $1 million per year. That's still not counting sponsored posts, brand partnerships, or the fact that YouTubers can show a number of ads within a single video. While estimating Westbrook's payout by looking at fellow YouTubers with similarly dedicated audiences, Cosmo concluded that she probably makes around $9 million a year from her channel. While the Westbrooks got engaged in 2012, it would be years before the pair ever got hitched. In fact, they pulled the plug on their wedding altogether in 2015 and naturally announced the cancellation before they even told their family on YouTube. Tati said at the time, I found out that my very best friend from childhood was not going to be able to make the wedding and it was just like she's the one person that I wanted there. She claimed life kept getting in the way, adding, People keep dying. People keep having surgeries, get, people are in the pregnant. hospital, people get pregnant. But as fans know, Tati eventually got her Maui dream wedding in 2017, where fellow YouTuber turned foe James Charles did her bridal makeup. Their infamous feud has apparently made looking at the wedding photos pretty difficult for Westbrook, according to Life & Style. But hey, at least her makeup looked great. Westbrook can't seem to escape that YouTube drama. Perhaps that's just the price of fame on the platform, or maybe even the people with whom she chooses to surround herself. Long before the James Charles controversy lit a fire across the internet, the star was absolutely slammed for collaborating with Jeffree Star in 2017. Today, we are doing a get ready like never before in the beauty community, and I brought the one and only Tati Westbrook. Hey, girl. Hey, guys. <laughs> According to Revelist, fans thought Westbrook's collab meant she approved of Starr's alleged past bad behavior, which included well-documented displays of racism. For his part, Starr gave a lengthy apology for everything in 2017 and has since slammed Tarte Cosmetics for their lack of darker foundation shades. Starr said of the matter on YouTube, I don't know who that person was. I know who I am today. I know exactly the person I am today, but I do not know who that person was. Westbrook, of course, defended the pair's collaboration on Snapchat, claiming people didn't know the real star. She said, What you see on Twitter and Snap doesn't always give you the full story. Given this context, it makes sense that Star would fan the flame and support Westbrook during the James Charles scandal, even if he later admitted he handled the situation poorly. Westbrook once again found herself in hot water in 2018, but this time it was because of her actual company, not the company she keeps. The launch of her very first product for her Halo Beauty line turned into an absolute nightmare from the second it went live. My launch, although very, very successful, was also a different reaction than I had anticipated. According to Allure, Halo Beauty's hair, skin and nails booster, the supplement that's allegedly in direct competition with Sugar Bear hair and thus sparked that whole James Charles drama, included Saw Palmetto, a controversial ingredient that may potentially interfere with hormonal birth control. Of course, this didn't fly with Westbrook's audience and the beauty guru took to Snapchat to defend herself. She said at the time, I feel very misunderstood. I hate that my character is being thrashed. Saw Palmetto is not going to get you pregnant. It's not going to make your birth control not work. I am working with the best physicians, the best scientists, the best nutritionists. I have a team. I have advisors. We have talked about this formula through and through to get to this point. It should be noted that Allure also spoke to board-certified obstetrician and gynecologist Leia Milheiser, who said that Saw Palmetto does indeed have, quote, estrogenic activity and may affect endogenous hormone levels. However, it seems as though more research is needed in order to make any definitive conclusions. On the surface, it looks like Westbrook has a really excellent relationship with her stepson, Taylor. I have Taylor, my stepson, here. He's even been featured on her channel, like the time he gave the makeup guru a sweetly adorable makeover. She also pumped his Instagram account on Twitter to help him get more followers. And that obviously worked because as of mid-2019, he has roughly 124,000 fans. However, Westbrook admitted in a March 2019 video that things weren't always so rosy between the two, particularly at the beginning of her relationship with husband James. She admitted, There was a year where we, you know, it, it was hard. It was like, I'm, hi, I'm your 
your dad's special friend. She said Taylor was only about 14 or 15 when they met, claiming, he was like a little pipsqueak and he was a moody teenager and he didn't want to talk to me and I got a lot of one word answers. She then shared some sage advice with her viewers, adding, so to anyone that is navigating dating someone with kids, be patient. They'll open up when they're ready. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.